Tim, I'm here at Lake Grove Elementary School where parents and students are currently protesting possible plans to tear down this property and rebuild it as a community hub or retail space. Now, when I talked to Lake Oswego School District, they told me this plan is just tentative. And right now, they don't have anything set in stone. Now, frankly, I don't have any personal attachment to the building. I have a personal attachment to keeping an elementary school within this area. Josh Stevenson has a first grader attending Lake Grove Elementary. He says recently parents were told the city of Lake Oswego is exploring plans to tear down the school. They're going to just send them to a few of the other ancillary um, elementary schools. So it's going to impact the rest of the schools, changing their boundaries, um, which could impact where the, the students would go, and also um, increasing population size within the, the school. Lake Oswego School District has a long-range facilities planning committee, which includes parents and residents. The committee came up with this plan for a community hub, and the commercial surroundings of Lake Grove make it an ideal possible location for the center. It is in a um, commercial zone district, so there's more um, opportunities with this elementary school property than any of our other elementary school properties. But some parents from various schools in the area are upset, saying the city already has a library, and this would be a huge inconvenience for students who would then have to commute 30 minutes away. If we're shipping kids off three or four miles away, across a busy intersection and, and, and they're getting old enough to commute to school themselves, we're, we're really doing our kids a disservice by, by making these decisions that are not beneficial for the neighborhoods. Now tomorrow the Long Range Facilities Planning Committee is having a meeting. They have until May 20th to present the Lake Oswego School Board a finalized proposal for Lake Grove Elementary. Then the public will be invited to share their comments and the school board will make a decision by June. In Lake Oswego, I'm Sydney Dorner. Tim, back to you. All right, we'll have to follow that one. Thanks, Sydney.